What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Team Home Circus live video. Today we're gonna be diving on in with another DB video. Diving on in, we do see dragons going first down here. We see Tulu Bellyant in the hand, a Magnemut, an Ash Blossom, and a Dark and Evaporation Dragon. This is gonna kind of allow us to fusion summon and stuff like that. Uh, if you do want to play it, you know potentially we're gonna be seeing maybe some of those. Uh, uh, Boros Furious going to be a pop card, which is going to be pretty nice, especially if we're playing Beast. Having multiple pops in the deck can be quite good this format. And then over here we see Ritual Beast with a Lara in the hand, the Ritual Beast Tamer. They evenly matched the Book of Eclipse, which is going to be going good going first and second. A Shifter and a Dark Ruler no more. So opening up uh, pretty, pretty good for going second. Going first, uh, I think this would be in pretty dog shit. But unfortunately, we did get to get the win the die roll. Or I guess we get the we lost the die roll, but won the die roll in our hearts because these cards are not going to be great. We're going to have a redemption, being able to draw another card, as well as shifter going to be able to carry us quite a bit versus the Bistil deck. Uh, but yeah, before we dive in, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're showing a lot. We're on the road to 10k. And you guys support. Let me in the comment section down below what you guys think of these duels. And we're going to be seeing shifter going to be hit in the draw phase, and then buddy goes, brother, why am I getting shiftered all day? Because we're playing a helmet deck. Magnemite's going to be able to banish a shifter, getting that search. We then tribute it off for the Lubellion. Lubellion going to put the regain on the field. And we're going to be seeing the Evaporation Dragon going to be banishing to summon. And then we can fusion summon? No way. What do we fusion summon this for? I mean, we could go for the new Light and Dark Dragon. We're going to banish the Furious, summoning itself out. And we're going to go regain, put back the Furious to draw a card. Going into the Albella, Alba, okay. Drawing into Albaz, most likely just going to be a target for um, a Seals. And then we're going to go up into the tight, uh, Hope Harbinger here, being a Spell Negate, which is quite nice. And we search for the uh, the Dragon, Chaos Emperor, Dragon of Armageddon. So we are just playing Dragons. At this point, you know, even big dragons. This is just like bestial control. Maybe no rockets at all. We see an Itali being drawn. Crazy draw here. And then we're going to go Eclipse. We let this resolve. You have to let the rat out. You don't want to banish it. You're on if I get that draw. And so now we see a Itali. We ash it and they just scoop. Done. Game over. We shifted. We opened Dark Rule. We opened Evenly Match. We drew, drew into a good card and. We pass to an Ash Blossom. Well, that's kind of crazy. You know, unfortunately, when you draw too many of those crazy going second cards uh, and you can't play your engine, you're just going to lose the game. Again, anyways, no matter how good you draw uh, against your opponent's deck, essentially. Now diving on to game two, we're going to be seeing the Ritual Beast player going to go first. We see a Magma of their own, a Canahawk, a Dimension Fissure, a varied card against Dragons, a Nemesis Flag, and then a Talent. So, did we brick again? No, okay. So, Canahawk is going to be a combo card, as well as the Mention Fissure being a Floodgate. If we get hand trapped, which we are going to be seeing Mulcharmy, please drop this in the draw phase. Uh, but, yeah, we also don't even know what our opponent is playing at this point. All we know is an e Telly alongside uh, a Shifter and a book of eclipse so it's safe to say you know you're playing against ritual beast but i get the same time there are could be rogue decks that you aren't playing against and then over here we see a magnum crazy we've seen three magnums drawn in two games so far a cosmic a Pralia, and then the armageddon and a lubellion so opening up a couple one ofs not being crazy but let's dive right in we see the Pralia being drawn dropped in the draw phase please they normal summon out the Canahawk, then they draw the Ball Drake, and then we're going to activate the effect, banishing the Lara. Lara will then be able to summon from the deck, going for the other Lara, and then we activate D Fissure. We then get to link them, or yeah, fuse them away for the Ulti Canahawk, which can then activate the effect not once, but twice. And then we're going to be tagging for the Lara, as well as the Canahawk, putting the Lara back into the graveyard. We search for the Wen. And then they're going to be able to activate the effect once again, banishing the Rampengu from the deck this time, going up into the Link Monster. Uh, we are going to draw and put back one. We see the effect banish. To go for the Wendy, 
and now we draw. Did we just draw the same card? I, I think we did. No way we put it back to the bottom of the deck. Okay, yeah, we did we did draw the same the same card there, okay. Definitely a good option. Uh, I thought we put it back to the bottom of the deck for a second. That would be kind of weird. Well, we see this go for the combo for the ulti Canahawk. Activate, put back, you know. We're going to be seeing these Virtual Beast combos. Now we're going to be searching for Steed, as well as the Lara uh, No Steed search. What search is Steed? I thought it was this guy. Okay, we search for Lara here. Then we go for the Canahawk. Canahawk's going to be able to put back once again and search for the Steed. Okay, I knew this was coming. We then banish both of those for the uh, ulti. I don't know why we don't just hit this. Can we not just banish this with our Magnemut and then like get some effects? We then go up into the big guy. Then we see the flag effect putting back when summon itself out and then we're going to be able to activate the effect we hit that with ash blossom and then we look at the hand we rip that cosmic and then we set the steed and just pass turn on that i mean yeah we don't want to get protosed even though it'd be pretty hard to protos us under t fissure but okay so we pass turn on this and we draw into a collapse serpent um yeah i don't exactly know how we're gonna be winning this we're just gonna pass turn on that we're gonna see flag search for the protos but like once again how are we gonna really do anything that we just submit the feet okay i mean you can't get protos but oh well Diving on to game three here. We're going to be seeing the dragon player go first. Nib and Nib in the hand. Uh, the Evaporation Dragon, a sword near and a regained. Not on. Uh, not looking too hot. Uh, we can go for this, being able to activate the effect, summoning itself out, getting a draw with regain. So we have a nice little two card combo. This can then fuse up into uh, the dark dragon that we ended up seeing earlier, the Furious. And then it's going to activate the sword near effect, getting us ascended to the graveyard. The. Uh, either a Magnemite or a Lubellion. I guess it kind of depends. And if our opponent does anything, we can then act for the effect of Regan, bringing back out that copy of the Magnemite if we do decide to send it. And then over here, we see the Rapengu, a Winda, the Lara, a Protoss, and a Kenahawk. So opening all engine this time compared to the game one where it was all non-engine. And we see the Regan being activated. Once again, we're going to be banishing, banishing that copy of Lubellion, now revealing that we are playing those... Uh, those Albaz targets, we're gonna put back, drawing into a Sorinir, once again, not being great, but then we do Fusion Summon with two Sorinirs for that Boral Furious. Uh, that will trigger Sorinir as well as Regained. It, your opponent doesn't do anything, this cannot activate. We're gonna be dumping the Lubellion, and then we're gonna be summoning Lubellion out by tributing this off. Okay. And then we can activate the effect putting the beast on the field and linking away into the seals. Okay. We're going to see a normal summon of an elder. They're going to go regain, summon out this Soranir. Now we can pop. Yeah, if the, if it leaves the field, does it still apply? Yeah, it just gives you a normal. It just affects the player, giving them an additional normal. And they're going to go, yes. They're going to go battle phase now. And the attack declaration, we're going to be sealing. Bouncing that back to the hand, and then we're going to activate the seals effect, summoning the Magnemut. Magnemut will then activate the effect, and then we're going to be using the Lara, just guarding itself, giving us additional normal once again. So now we have two normals in the bank. We're going to normal summon out that Elder, and then we're going to normal summon out the Canahawk. And we're going to activate the Canahawk effect. I don't know why we don't just beast this. I mean, they've already used two cards. I don't, I mean, maybe, I don't know. It feels kind of hard because like I don't exactly know what all these cards do. Uh, 
and like our opponent definitely doesn't know either but like if you're using your third normal summon of this if you just pop it they can't really get the effect right you're you're gonna be adding at nothing so like they have to have another extender in the hand which i mean they did play e-telly but you have the beer to play through as well so there's no really punishment and banishing that kind of hawk there or destroying the kind of hawk with the beast we banish the lara and then we're going to be able to go up into the can of hawk and like this is yeah we have to dedicate another card to the field for the can of hawk we also could put back with regain uh, and we're going to be seeing them chain, putting back Lara, you know, summoning them back out. And we put those, we search for the inheritance. And then we're going to go the Kanahawk banish once again, Rempengu. We then banish both of those for the ulti, whatever, the ulti Nuchirado. I don't even know how to fucking say this. The duck looking one. And like we can banish once again the Lara if we wanted to. But it doesn't look... Oh, we do chain that. Okay. Putting back the Lara. Getting us a draw. Drawing into a Druid's Worm. This is going to be crazy. Because now we can banish even one of the cards in our graveyard. And we do chain Nib to this. Okay. Soranir dumping another Rebellion. Protoss is going to be summoned. And then on summon, we have to chain this. You do not let them Protoss you. You just chain banishing this. On summon. Okay, okay. On summon. Fair. Okay. We are going to correct it. We are going to be seeing them end up taking the win for this. Because they're already banishing this. And then they're going to be able to beast pop. It can't be destroyed by card effect. But it's going to be able to be sent with Druid's Worm on resolution here. So, very important to note. We are going to be beasting this. And then we just see them emit defeat. Okay. Yeah. That was a very nice play. Definitely the correct play there. Druid's Worm is going to be sending this. And they're going to be on nothing once again. Uh, now we could just you know stop that by destroying this uh the first can of hawk when it was on the field not letting them dump having to make them have another extender in the hand but i understand if you just don't know what the deck does you're not going to be making those exact correct plays i still barely know what ritual beasts do i don't think that i'm going to be the best ritual beast player ever i think there's like one that comes at our locals every like month and i barely ever see it uh, i don't think they're the best ritual beast player either so there's a little bit of lower testing for me on that deck uh but regardless hope you've been watching the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below if they made any misplays or what you would do instead we are going to be seeing the bestial deck end up taking the win here uh and hopefully we're going to be see you guys soon stay safe peace